art has always been my primary source of expression. If I'm sad, I turn to art. If I'm happy, I turn to art. If I'm bored, I turn to art. If there's something that I can't really express through words, art has been my primary source of kind of releasing that tension. My name is Marie Quiate, and I am from the United States, from Minnesota, but originally from Senegal, Guinea, and Gambia, and I am a ceramicist. So I was not actually interested in ceramics at first. I got into it by accident. Growing up, I was really into drawing and painting. And um, my senior year, all of those classes were, were full. So I didn't have a choice but to take ceramics. It was the last class that was available. Um, so I kind of took it begrudgingly. I did not want to take ceramics at all because I wasn't used to that type of, um, that type of art expression. So I was about, let's see, about 17 years old, I think. Yeah, the first experience was very, or very foreign. Um, I had never used clay before. It was very much like playing around with dirt or with sand. And um, it was, it was very, it was life-changing because it was, for the first time I'm seeing myself being able to make something out of completely nothing or out of this foreign object that's shapeless and it's up to you how you want to shape it and i think those first few days obviously you're trying to understand how to how to use it you're not able to really make anything for the first few days but i think when i first made my first um my first vase i think the feeling that i felt was um, was surprised and I found that like as I kept trying as I kept making I just kept surprising myself I think when I learned about Scrafito, that was when I, I really fell in love with the whole process of making a ceramic piece because I was able to marry two of my loves, which is drawing, my first love, and then this new passion of, of ceramics as well. So I'm able to create a form by hand and then also able to create an image by by etching. I think what I remember most is just the, the feeling of experimentation, not, not knowing what's going to happen, how it's going to turn out, but just kind of being open to the process. I think that at that moment I realized that it was another part of my artistic expression. But I think because ceramics came so quickly and I also had to kind of stop it quite quickly as well, it didn't feel as personal or, yeah, it didn't feel as, I think, attainable. Also, growing up, um, I had always been praised for my artistic ability, so for my drawing and for my painting and, you know, at the end for my ceramics, but it was never looked at as a viable um, profession.
I think with with the fear of like going into the unknown, you know, doing your your undergrad um, and you know not knowing exactly what you want to do, but knowing that like you need to have money to survive, and especially coming from an immigrant background, from a very like very humble background, I you know I I don't have the privilege of taking a job where I can't make a living. So it seemed to me from pretty early on that art was not something that I could make a living out of. Yeah, it felt like something that I did for myself, not really something that I, I really didn't share my art that much. It was very personal. It was just something that I did for myself, not necessarily for other people to see. If, I mean, people knew that I did artwork, but, and they would, you know, they would praise it when I saw it, I think, again, because I didn't think that I could take it into the professional world, I really didn't take my art that seriously. And I think that went through for, for quite a long time. I think throughout those years that I wasn't doing it, it always felt like something was missing. And when I got back into it, there was a clear shift. There was a clear shift in everything, not just in my artwork, but in all aspects of my life. There was a happiness that came that just was not there before. Yeah, I think art very much is intri intrinsic into my being, into my happiness, my mental health. And I didn't know that, I think, until having that separation from it and, and coming back to it. And as soon as I took that taster, the passion was, was reignited. And then I immediately started to look at like longer term classes. But it was also, it was definitely my, my husband that, that pushed me to, to take the classes. Because I was at a point where I was kind of like, you know, I love it, but I'll just take it whenever I have time. And he was like, you need, you're so happy when you're when you're doing this like this is a it is it, it's not cheap but it's an investment to your happiness so and that's worth whatever the cost is I wasn't sure if I could create in the same way that I could before a little bit of yeah fear but also excitement that maybe I could do it maybe I could do it even better yeah, and it was also nostalgia. It was it was nice to be reacquainted with this thing that I loved so much and for it to feel just as good as it did 10, 15 years ago. I think that ceramics is a bit misunderstood in that it's easy just to see the end product and not see the, the full process that goes into it. It's a very heavy, multi-step process and if those steps don't go right at any point, the piece is done. So I think it, I think that there is a lot of respect in, in the art world for this art form, but I think that it's also starting to die die out of it. And I think that's what um, that's what makes me sad that it it is I wish that it was an outlet for more people that looked like me because I know how much it has changed me and it has helped me through some really tough times. Um, the beauty of ceramics is that you don't need to you don't need to be perfect. You don't have to be proficient at it to enjoy it. It's really just about that, the intentionality of being in this space, trying to make something. It doesn't have to be perfect, but, but just being present and leaving whatever is happening on the outside world there and just focusing on this one thing for however long it is that you're there. When people look at my art, I want them to feel something. I want people to learn something new. I want people to, 
to see, to be inspired, not necessarily by just my work, but by seeing that there's a new artistic expression that they can even tap into or learn more about. What I want people to, to take from my art is that, that it's ever changing, that it's never too late to, to get into something that, that you're passionate about.